In today's video, we're gonna go over some creepy TikToks. Let's get into it. There's no way that this is real. If you see at the very, very beginning of the video, before he pans to the left, you see what looks to be like like an old prehistoric type of bird or something. This has got to be a prop. It's got to be. Because that's way too good to be true. Like whoever found this has found an amazing find if it's real, but I really don't think it is. The one single thing that is going to change history. The U.S. government is going to be offered incontrovertible evidence that we are not alone. That extraterrestrial intelligences and civilizations exist. They've been present and operating on planet Earth for some time. And there is evidence through alien spacecraft that have been retrieved and extraterrestrial biological entities that have been retrieved. That this is an undeniable fact that needs to be taken in by the world public at this time. I'm a huge fan of alien theory. I love the idea of aliens and extraterrestrial and beings from another planet. I, I love that idea. I think that is an amazing thing. And to me, if the galaxy is as big as it is said to be, I find it extremely hard to believe that we are the only living species in the galaxies. So I really like the idea that there's extraterrestrials. It's gonna be a shame for me, because I, I really don't like our government. I don't trust the government that much. I think that they'll lie to say whatever they want to say to make it work in their favor. And it, it'll be a really bad day and a hard to believe day when the government says, yes, there is aliens. We have aliens. Aliens are our friend or aliens are our enemy. Because now I'm going to think that it's like Project Bluebeam or something. I would have to be approached by the extraterrestrials basically single-handedly for me to believe it. And they would have to take me to space and show me the realms because I would have a hard time believing in aliens once the government comes out and says, yeah, aliens are real. It just, dang it. Now the aliens are fake to me and Project Blue Beam is going to take effect and there's going to be some kind of world war to fight the aliens type deal. That's just something that I really don't want to happen. I think a lot of people probably don't want that to happen. But I do want to see aliens. And I hope that aliens are real. I think that would be awesome. But I have a few... I have a few, like, is about aliens being here on Earth. If they're such a super advanced species that's, that's mastered space travel, why... Are they coming to Earth and crashing and doing all of these critical errors and getting caught by governmental officials when they're so advanced? That's just the biggest downfall to me on believing aliens are really here on Earth. And if they are such a hyper-intelligent race, why would they sacrifice or risk their own lives to come to Earth? Why would they not just send drones or some kind of other synthetic organism to spectate us? Maybe they do, and the bodies, the bodies that we recover are just synthetic beings that are created by the extraterrestrials, because I just don't see an advanced civilization being so careless about that situation. But I could be wrong. Let me know in the comments on what you think because there's a lot of theories about this stuff. Here we have another Randy Jackson rabbit hole. And this rabbit hole has some crazy twists. Check this out. Now there's just a few things I want to mention here. First of all, if he's healthier, then more power to him. But 
there's this other side where homeboy looks robotic and he looks plastic and maybe I'm looking into this too far but check this out I really thought he had more of kind of like a little bit of a butt chin but apparently here he does not and quite honestly I don't remember the homie's left eye being cocked so far sideways and straying off like that there was something here on his neck that I noticed that was kind of odd. I know people can get this discoloration of skin when they have diabetes issues. As I was taking a closer look at some of these shots here, this Jane Krakowski caught my eye with her sideways looking eye. Check this out. Now, there is this other side where things kind of look weird on camera, but look at that eyeball, you guys. I mean, Maybe I'm tripping because you hear about these people that never age and they may be of some kind of a completely different anatomy. I don't know, of the reptilian sort. People talk a lot of different things in this world. Why are they doing this? Who knows, man? This is all just one big sci-fi movie. I'm not gonna lie. He is looking like straight up plastic in that side by side. But to be fair, Randy Jackson is like almost 70 years old. He's probably full of makeup. He's probably had a whole bunch of skin surgery to help. Because at one point in time, Randy Jackson used to be a fairly heavier set fellow. And he lost a lot of weight. So I'm sure he's had tons of surgery to like remove skin, lifts, things like that. So that probably explains it for Randy. Unfortunately, it does not look the best. It's, it's definitely a very plastic look. But hey, if that's what makes him happy, and as far as the eye sliding sideways, again, he's, he's an older individual that wears glasses, and he's always sort of had a slanted eye, or a, he's sort of already had a cocked eye in a way, like it's always been there. So I can't say or not that he's like cloned or a lizard person, I just think that he's an older individual that's trying to keep young. Walky thing on the on the on the side of the apes' hoarded. We'll take a closer look at that. We see something hooked on the top of the apes' you ear. Leave you my signal. That's hair. Okay. We'll take a closer look at that too. But it's hit the top of his ear, which connects to this piece that you can see is separate from the Z, but like a piece of missile, and goes down to what appears to be this kind of star-looking area. It's not a star. It, it's almost as if it's a what? It's a it's something fighting on it, and that might be JG two, but it's also maybe a zero with the line of it. Second, that's all zero for mile. Okay, if you are missing a great school, and you're learning about. Abraham Lincoln, and if you're not from the U.S., we learn about this guy, great. No. One of the great prisoners. But he has a because here. That goes down our ever since there's a little no peace. And it stands down to this strange area down here. I mean, to me, it just looked like an old blurry photo. I could not quite see what the individual was talking about. Maybe a slight crevice of skin that does sort of look mask-esque, I guess. But to me, I think that Abraham Lincoln was just a wrinkly older fellow. And uh, pictures back then just weren't as good. <laughs> Because sometimes I looked in your eye, I noticed that you don't have that white under your eye. What do what? So you know about um, Senpuku? What is that? So Senpuku is like a Japanese superstition that means three whites. If you have white under your eye, it means that the world is out to get you. What? There's different celebrities that have that white under their eye. Yeah. That's very noticeable. Like their pupils are up here, but you see a lot of white. You know who had a really famous celebrity that had one? Who? JFK. What happened Word. to him? Assassinated. How do you see that though? Like, it's, you have to look close. You see, you see how there's none under, no white, right? Yeah. And you see here where you have white under your eye. Oh. And you see here how you have white under your eye. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll put okay, the picture okay. up to I make it, it more it. clear. Yeah, so yeah. yeah, if you have that white stuff, the oh, world is out to get when, you. When your eyelids don't cover the pupil. Yeah, the pupil. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah.
So I was like, then you look, you look a little bit scarier when, yeah, you when you have too. that shit. That's why I, I've caught myself do, kind of doing that to people. I'm like, I just kind of look and see like, okay, I'm not going to stay around him because yeah. the world, the world is out to get him. Fam. Word, yeah? yeah. I've never heard of this before. I don't think that I have that problem. Let's see. I don't know. I can't quite see myself in the, the viewfinder. Like how I have my setup, I, I can see myself over here on one screen and I watch my TikToks on this screen, but I can't quite see my eyes. I never noticed it. I, I've never noticed that before. So I'll have to take a closer look. I don't think so. I think I got normal people aren't out to get me eyes. I hope. I'm sorry if this is inappropriate, but I have been far too curious for too long. What happened to this man's eyes? And it's not just him. I see this sometimes. Here's another man. What happened to his eyes? I feel like I've been paying attention to people's eyes for a long time and there is something mysterious there for sure. Let's just say I've never seen a good man with these types of eyes. Ask anyone that knows me. I bring this up because I'm so stuck on it. I feel like there's more there that I just don't have the answers to. Also, have you heard how narcissistic people can have dead eyes? When I heard that, I was shocked because my ex-husband, a very narcissistic man, has some dead eyes. And what is going on with that? Why is that the case? Like the dead eyes, does that signify when someone's abandoned themselves? Like what is up with these, the eyes that we wa we just saw? Like what is going on? If anyone has any answers, it would be a relief to me, honestly. If this is a stretch or some type of like medical condition. I am sincerely sorry, but I feel like there's something there. Man, I've been told that I've had dead eyes before. I don't I don't really know. I'm not extremely expressive with my eyes, I guess, but I've never really thought about that. But the Pope the Pope just looks darn right sinister to be honest. Like he just looks really sinister. Let's talk about this terrifying video from Mexico, the moving Jesucristo statue. Before I show you this absolutely creepy video, let's break it down a little bit. It is May 2017, Santa Ana de Petitlan, Jalisco, and a 300-year-old Jesus Christ statue moves his head during a misa ceremony. I'm just going to show you the video so you can see it for yourself. Here it is. Uh -oh. Now, of course, this video blew up all over social media, even getting news articles written about it. A lot of people argue that it could be a trick of the angles or that there was maybe like a hat placed on him that was just sliding off. But guys, not trying to creep you out, but there's a ton of videos like this, like of Jesus Christ statues moving their heads. I'm not particularly like religious, right? But this video did creep me out, okay? I, I, I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you guys think it was a trick of the angles? Do you guys think this is real? I don't know. Let me. I'm not gonna lie. I was really distracted by her makeup, her eye makeup, and the the blush on the nose. It was just very, like I just couldn't stop staring at it. But as far as the head moving on the Jesus statue, it definitely does look like it moves. It looks like either it the head was moving down or the crown of thorns moved down. But it definitely looked like it was moving for sure. The great empty hole over fear. The unity of our duty, the stability of our chaos. Look at the next talk in the. There goes again with the chaos out. <laughs> We're good people. Just cut the chaos only nation in the world money. built on an idea. Only I mean, come on, give the older lady a break. I'm sure she's not proud of having loose skin on her neck, right? Like, I doubt that it's reptilian, but who knows? Maybe it is. Hey. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and like the video and subscribe to the channel. I only ask once per video and I make a video like this almost every day. I honestly, sincerely, and unequivocally do not expect any of your audience to believe any of this. Robert Bigelow said to me, they're walking among us. What do you mean, they're walking among us? He said, they're, they're walking among us. They live right here. Before I say this, this guy, legitimately is in a position to know a lot more than I know. He had the government contracts. He had the contacts. He had the intellectual heavyweights in the scientific community all working for him. This guy definitely knows 
a lot. No question. And the guy's a billionaire. And then the fact that he's hoarding it all and it's under armed guard in a vault at his house, that kind of pisses me off a little bit. He says, James, um, do you understand the implications of disclosure? He said the economy would collapse. Organized religion would collapse. I'm not saying that I believe this. I'm just telling you what he mm. said to me. This this video brought up a couple of questions that I would like to ask the audience that's viewing this video. I've heard in the past by relatives, people just in passing, that said that if there were aliens, then there would not be a God. A God would not create aliens. Everything that is on Earth is created by God and only that. Is that something that you guys believe as well? Or do you believe that, yeah, sure, there could be aliens out there that were also created by God. If God created the universe, why would the aliens in this universe not be a part of God's system as well? I'm just very curious on what your guys' thoughts is about that. So please, leave a comment letting me know. Does Jim Carrey play Joe Biden part of the time? And I'm not talking Saturday Night Live, talking real life. At the end of this video, I think if you don't think so right now, there might be a little part, at least a little part of you, that just might agree with me. Let's start with this. We all know he is a physical comedian, but just watch this. Options were limited. Oh, oh my gosh. You won't be seeing much more physical humor in my show. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I want to go way back now. This will be... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're green. You're You don't scare me anymore. Okay, so you get the idea. He falls a lot. He falls a lot through comedy. But did you ever notice who else falls a lot? And hey. They kind of look like, like, in fact, that might even look a little bit more like Jim Carrey than Jim Carrey looks like Jim Carrey in this. But that's Joe Biden. I'll show you. He sure looks a lot like Jim Carrey to me. And that's supposed to be Biden getting off the helicopter. They even have similar walks. And forward head postures. Do you see it? I see it. Similar length arms in comparison to their knees. And we know how Hollywood likes to put things in plain sight. We also know they do a ton of predictive programming. This Simpsons was 15 years before this, even to the sign falling down. Predictive programming. I'm free on the 7th at 7! Did you see it? I saw one thing at first. Watch the timing of his hand. Timing of his hands. And then watch. You'll see it. Watch. I sync it up here. Ready? There it is. Watch. Go. And the hands. Signed up at the same time. The hands at the same time. That's Jim Carrey. That is Jim Carrey. I'm going to show you more. Okay, here it is, the full clip. You'll see he salutes and he puts his hand up twice, just like we saw in the movie Bruce Almighty with Jim Carrey. And then tell me this isn't Jim Carrey's comedic falling. There's no way Joe Biden is this quick on his feet and moves. And watch how he does this little jog. The salute at the end here, it is, it is Jim Carrey. And I'm going to show you more still. Did you ever see this clip where it looks like Biden's wearing a mask? Again, truth in plain sight. We all know that he did the movie The Mask. Could they have been trying to tell us something? I think so. Literally, the first time I ever saw that clip of Biden going up the stairs, I thought to myself, before I was even a truther, 
wow, he moves just like Jim Carrey going up there. And then I looked into it and it just kept coming and coming and coming. You decide. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. I have a hard time believing this. I don't be- I I do believe that Biden has a mask double, someone that fills in his spot, but I do not believe it's Jim Carrey. I mean, the the resemblance are there, but I don't know, man. Like that one's a tough one for me to really hold true. What do you guys think? Do you think that's Jim Carrey in a mask, in a, in a Biden mask? Or do you think that it's just an older gentleman that's just having a hard time in life? People believe that pigs contain the souls of banished humans. Hmm. I'm not even going to cap with you. When I heard this shit, I was like, what the f***? It makes so much sense to me. One, I'll say this already. If you look at a pig's eyes, they strangely look, they look human. human. Yeah, they look weird. There's even a quote in the Bible. Even the demons didn't want to go to hell. They begged Jesus to put them into the bodies of pigs. Really? Yes. There's just so many other things of apparently, but pigs can't not even look up at the sky. Really? If they yes. wanted to. If they wanted to, they can't. Cannot what look up at the sky. So basically that's saying like, you'll never even be able to like look, look upon up, the heavens. Yeah. That's crazy. You feel what I'm saying? And on top of that, bro, most religions do not eat that's, pig. You know yeah, what I mean? They yeah, say yeah. like, don't eat that, bro. It's, it's, Pork, it's not, yeah. yeah, at all. They don't want you to eat pig. I remember this one thing that stuck out to me, bro, and it just confirmed this shit for me too. I remember there was a serial killer who he used to eat people and somebody interviewed him and asked him, what does human beings taste like? And this damn near said it. It tastes like pig. Yeah, I remember, um... What's and there's a bunch of other people that have said that that were cannibals. Yeah, what's the face of the, the guy um that was turning people into burgers and Yes, he, he said was, it too. He said it tasted like pork. You're talking about uh, Joe Metheny. Yeah, Joe Metheny, yeah. Yes, bro, that's f***ing insane. He said it, oh, it tastes like pork. That's crazy. All these people said it's anything like human beings taste like pork. That's crazy. So it's like, is that why? Because... They are. This actually is something to really think about. One thing, when I was growing up, Raised on a farm, when I seen pigs, that really did disturb me was their eyes. Their eyes are very, very human-like. They have a lot of emotion going on in there. Another thing that I'm surprised that they didn't talk on that really makes you think is pigs are one of the most acceptable organ donor creatures to humans. If we have an organ that goes out, we actually have a higher chance of being able to have an organ donated transplant from a pig. And that's something to think about. Yo, listen, listen, fam. An explorer had just recorded a mermaid and was trying to share it with the world. Oh yeah, I seen that. So listen, Sarah Connor grew up listening to stories about mermaids from her sailor father. But three months ago, after her father's death, Sarah received a legacy of 300 pages of a diary. These pages detailed all encounters with mermaids and included a map showing an unknown island in the Pacific Ocean. Equipped and aboard her father's vessel, she embarked on a journey to the island with her dog. After 39 days of travel, she arrived at the island. Without resting, she walked into the depths of the island with her dog. There, she encountered an old, abandoned oceanic research station encircled by a metal fence. So, Sarah jumped over the fence and continued towards the entrance of the station. Suddenly, her dog became anxious and started barking. Sarah, unconcerned, wanted to enter the building. However, the dog was trying to pull her back. She tied her dog to the metal fence and entered the station. It was really dark inside. And she switched on her her flashlight. On a nearby wall, she saw a warning. Escape before the siren song. Her heart raced with a mix of fear and excitement. As she rushed towards the exit, a haunting melody began to echo through the building. Disoriented, she descended to a lower level, approaching an ocean-facing observation window. There, behind the glass, was a mermaid. This was the final moment captured in the recording on her iPhone 16. I don't believe this story to be true first of all her name was sarah connor from like the terminator series <laughs> and second of all i'm pretty certain all of that was ai voicing that was to mimic those two podcast talk hosts uh i don't know their name i'm sorry but i'm pretty certain that was a complete ai generated video and that was a pretty good one because it sounded just like them that's that was pretty pretty neat though What is the most dangerous information that you know? Oh, boy. They're going to hoax an alien threat, and it's all a lie. 
So we are actually in the last year at the point where they've started on that plan. It's, we have got to intercept this plan and stop it. Or if you think 9-11 and the Iraq war was a clusterfuck, this is going to be that a thousand times worse, that there's a group of people who control this issue that are trying to provoke an interplanetary incident. So we'll, the next war, World War III, will be interplanetary. And there, if there is a serious group of nut jobs and they have to be put on a leash and stood down fast and quickly. This group started releasing stuff to the CNN and Washington Post and New York Times. The, every bit of information they're putting out has to spin. It's a threat to the national security. Our sovereignty has been invaded. It's the kind of brainwashing that's already started to try to convince the public there is, is an alien threat. You know, future, what we're going to do and have on this plan is hanging in the balance and we're going to have to wake up. There goes that alien threat thing that I don't like. And I, I do believe something like this could happen. It's a Project Blue Beam. And that's just, that's unfortunate because that means when aliens come out, whether it's good or bad, if they say, oh, aliens are attacking us, I'm now going to think that it's the government setting it up for us to fight an imaginary force just to get us all band together so that they can rule the world under one nation, basically. And that's, dang it, I don't like that at all. And uh, as far as Dr. Greer goes, I like a lot of his stuff. He kind of loses me sometimes when he says that he has pictures of aliens and they're like 420, uh, 430p pixels and you can't see them because they're so blurry. That's like, Really, you should have some of the best photos. But uh, other than that, I really do like what Dr. Greer has to say. If you guys are a fan of Dr. Greer, leave a comment down below because I can pull up more of his content because it is enjoyable to listen to. I was tracking a light in the sky. I couldn't tell on the camera if it was a satellite or not. And I'm tracking this light. And as far as I was concerned, while it was happening, that was it. It was just one light. And then I was looking at the footage on the computer. I noticed I had caught the most amazing thing ever. And um, that was very, very definitive to me, seeing that footage. This light comes from the top left corner of the screen, zips down and then zips back up to this object I was tracking and pulls these maneuvers that I've never seen anything pull before in the sky. And yeah, that really sold me on it. That Because I was honestly starting to feel like I was losing my mind and I was really questioning everything. I was starting to feel like I was crazy. Like, am I just filming satellites? I don't know. Like, You really start wondering and start questioning yourself. And it's been really tough in that regard but every now and then you'll get stuff like this on video and it's like okay yeah no there's actually something here there's actually something here and then you go over everything that had happened previously and when you look at the big picture you can start piecing it all together that something is actually going on and you're not going crazy and boy i'll tell you you really do need moments like that where you capture really good stuff on video because if you don't if you just capture like questionable things on video that could be something you will start to go crazy. Man, I see things very similar to what this individual sees in the night sky as well. And it's such a shame. Now, he got way better footage than I could ever possibly get because the crafts that I see in the night sky or and sometimes in the morning, they're very high up there in the sky. Like, so high up there. And I know they're not satellites because I know... From doing research online, satellite patterns, and everything. And I can even pull up a satellite map on my phone pointed at the sky and see where the satellites are. And what I see in the sky are not satellites. They are very lively moving orbs of light. But they're so high up into the sky that I cannot get a good video footage of it. I cannot get a good video of it because they're just way up into the sky. And how he got that footage, I don't know. But I would love to be able to do that because I see it almost every night. As long as the night sky is clear, I can see multiple orbs 
going around in patterns that are just totally not normal for any kind of plane, satellite. The only thing that could move around like these orbs are potential drones that have like super hyper uh, movement capabilities. But even still, they would have to be low enough to the ground for me to be able to see that extremely large bright orb. I'm thinking about buying a super nice telescope. I'm, I'm looking at some telescopes online that are capable of seeing the rings of Saturn. And I really want to try to capture these orbs in the telescope because they're almost, almost every night in my place where I see them. And I, this sounds crazy. I try to talk to them. I try to be like, hey, if you can hear me up there, like, come on a little closer. You know, make yourself known. I, I feel like I go crazy as well because there really is something out there that's definitely past, definitely more advanced than your standard equipment for sure. And I also, the, the way they move into the sky, it's almost like a dance. Some of them move around each other. Some of them get close and then spread out and then come back. And it's really crazy. I could talk about it forever. But I am thinking about getting a telescope so that I could potentially capture what these are at a closer range and provide pictures and video feed on this channel because I know that that is something that's not known to the public. That's something different than just standard technology. It almost moves as if it is a living thing that has the capability of moving kind of like a hummingbird. So it also makes me wonder if UFOs or UAPs or alien spaceships are not a living machine. Like what if it is an organic machine that has its own life, basically? It's, I could go about this all, all day. Like this is something that I really enjoy and I need to capture those orbs in the sky to show you guys because I feel like I'm going crazy. All right, guys. I'm going to end the video here, and with that being said, have a good day.